the way I dress is just something I do and I can't do anything else but I think it looks I forget the way it looks so I think before people know me they assume that I might be loud and vivacious. I'm from Essex which is just east of London. When I was growing up it was quite unusual to be dressing flamboyantly. It was a relief to move to London. I just love colour. When I was at school I used to dye my hair a different colour which got me in trouble with the teachers. I was actually a really good pupil. I wasn't naughty. I just like dressing. <laughs> so they automatically thought I was up to no good. My mum is into clothes. She studied fashion very briefly in the 60s. She interned for Aussie Clark. She would run around buying zips or be the fit model or be working in the shop. Going to the jumble sale with my nan. My mum would always dress me and I didn't really have much option like finding stuff for myself so that was my one release. I'm an accessories designer. People always comment that it's like being in a child's vision. I didn't follow the academic route. I went straight to art college at 16. I did work experience for a set designer called Shona Heath. Um, so I learnt how to make props with her and I went to New York to work for Asphalt and um, spent six months with them which was lovely because I spent a lot of time with them and became their friend. I wasn't sure that kind of thing existed. What the way kind of thing? I felt in my head. To be free and open and just do whatever you want. My idea was to make accessories that were props. I wanted to offer a service that I would make something tailor-made to your idea for the shoe. My style is just really weird, so I think it's difficult to get your head around that it might be tasteful. I think I wore a lot of blue so that became a block and then the first <laughs> thing I consciously made trousers to finish a look was baby pink. Then I think it probably just went orange and yellow. And I like to have things coordinated and then it just got more and more extreme to the point where it was monochrome. Someone's gone to a well-known brand because they know it's safe and they know they've saved up their money and they're going to invest in this pair of jeans. You may as well buy some that actually are cut nicely and look good. Otherwise go to the flea market and get a pair that are actually have been lived in and have got a story. Wearing a dress that I think sums up my aesthetic quite well for a few reasons because um, it's black and white. I love black and white graphic. I got it because it made me laugh because it's got Vogue an L in it. I don't think anyone from Vogue and L would have approved of it when it was made, so I think that's really funny. This was a dress that was in Oxfam in Kentish Town, and uh, I cut off the, the bit here because this was interesting. I like this, the Rick Rack. I hate shoes, I really don't like them. I don't think anyone's done a very good job of designing shoes. I made my first collection out of all the scraps and the odds and ends I'd collected whilst making props and I called it Dodecahedron Collision. It was all the shapes I'm interested in. This is Judy Blaine. He had this and I'm obsessed by rainbows so he gave it to me. It's got all the bits where he's been travelling around the world. This is actually Andrew Logan's alternative Miss World. Mm. And then this I've had since I was 14. Peggy Moffat. I love the images um, of her with, with the makeup and, and the outfits, which I think are timeless. That's what I like about the 60s. It was so new, completely new to anything that had gone before. I do see the majority of young girls following trends, and I find it's a bit of a shame. That's just what happened, isn't it? And I suppose that marks a time when you look back at mm -hmm. things. I just do whatever I want and sometimes I'm aware it might not be like the most flattering thing. As much as I get abuse, I also have a small section of society that smile at me and I always think, why are you smiling at me? I don't know you. My clothes just make them laugh. Just go out and not think about it. Whereas before I would always be instinctively like, <laughs> you know, waiting for that attack yeah whereas now i just don't even notice and clothes are about enjoying your your day that to me that's the most important thing when i wake up i get excited about putting clothes on and for the rest of the day i like looking down and being like yeah this is 
I'm really into music. I love all the all the people around me in my scene who started making music and are just coming up. I also like to um, collect records in secondhand shops, charity shops, and, that, and I DJ. I love dancing. I think that's really therapeutic. It's like a release. So anything that makes you you know, make your spine tingle and make you want to get up and yeah, groove is in the heart by delight. I love that. My work probably could be more organised. My timetable. I never really know what I'm doing because I think it freaks me out so I just try and live life for the day. I don't think there's enough hours in the day to get things done and I think it's going quicker. I don't know if the world is spinning faster. I don't think it's because I'm getting older. I think time is going quicker. Things take a long time and I think anyone else wouldn't be doing this. I've got patience for my dad. He has the patience of um, ten saints. We were primates that were like this and we learned to stand up and do stuff, but we're not, we're going back the other way. You're sitting at your desk using your computer like this. I want everyone to go, actually, no, I'm not going to have a computerised book. I'm actually going to pick up a book because it smells nice and the pages feel nice and I can draw in it. I just have little reality checks about, you know, what's the point of it all? It's to enjoy life. You should live in the present because the past has been and gone, so you shouldn't worry about it. And the future it hasn't happened yet, so there's nothing you can do about it. So if you enjoy every moment, then that would be the best way to live your life. So that's what I do.